Are you looking for an all-solid wood acoustic guitar? If you're planning to buy a Martin, Taylor, Gibson, or from any of the other big brands, then you need to stick around. Best case scenario, I get to help you get a better guitar for less money. So I was in your shoes about a month ago. So obviously this is not a sponsored video. I have a Seagull S6 QI, which is a solid cedar top guitar with wild cherry laminate back and sides and a built-in undersaddle pickup. It's probably one of the best guitars that you can buy for $500. But lately, as I've progressed in skill level, I started feeling that it was missing something. For the lack of a better word, I was looking for more oomph. Originally, I had my heart set on a Taylor 314. It has a solid Sitka spruce top and sapelli back and sides. But after some research about tonewoods, I concluded that sapelli wasn't for me. So the next thing I did was to find out what my modern guitar heroes are using for their tonewoods. The first one I looked at was Mike Doss's guitar. If you don't know who Mike Doss is, make sure you check out his YouTube channel. And before I forget, I'd like to take a few seconds just to thank him. Mike, thank you for helping me choose my first All Solid with Acoustic Guitar and your guidance for selecting and setting up the electronics that went in it. Being in your Patreon page and having the ability to talk to you about acoustic geekery stuff is so invaluable to me, so I'd like to link to your Patreon page down in the description below so others can learn from you directly if they want to. So going back to Mike Dodd's guitar, it has a grand auditorium body, solid Sitka spruce top, solid Indian rosewood back and sides, Florentine cutaway, ebony fretboard made by boutique luthier Andreas Kuntz. And it is selling for... $4,500. That's more than twice the budget that I have, so let's move on to the next one. Andy McKee. Jumbo body, solid Lutz spruce top, solid Brazilian rosewood back and sides, beveled armrest, soundboard, ebony fretboard, Venetian cutaway made by boutique luthier Greenfield Guitars. And it is selling for $15,000. Damn, that's just crazy. Anyway, based on those specs, I tried to look for a guitar that's closest to those two that I can buy here in Manila without having to resort to cooking crystal meth. And that's how I discovered Maestro Guitars, a boutique luthier from Singapore. Maestro being a relatively unknown brand, I had to do my homework first. Maestro Guitars was founded in 2004 by its passionate chief guitar builder, Hosen. With 15 years of experience in building guitars and studying with the great luthier, Urban Samoji, he personally makes sure that every guitar that leaves his workshop is better than the last one. Maestro has a video series on YouTube that does a deep dive into their meticulous guitar building processes and relentless optimization philosophy, so I'll just link to it in the description so you can check it out later. After listening to YouTube demos like this one from North American Guitars, I was convinced that this was what I wanted, a custom series Singa with Sitka spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Singa is the Singaporean word for lion and that's what they've appropriately named their flagship body shape, the medium jumbo. I looked at the specs online and was happy with it, but I did not see any information about the nutwood. So I filled out the contact form at maestroguitars.com to ask that question. In just a few hours, I received an email response from Raymond Hernandez, the operations director at Maestro Guitars. He told me that it was 1.75 inches, which is perfect for me, but he also asked that I wait for him to come to Manila 
so he can bring an original series Singa, their latest offering that replaces the custom series, so I can A-B test the two guitars. According to Raymond, the original series is a significant step up on the custom series when it comes to responsiveness, depth, and bass and treble qualities. And if I end up choosing it, I'd be the first original series owner in the Philippines. I was already amazed with what I heard with the custom series demo, so how can I say no to that, right? So after three weeks, it's choose a guitar day. Bob Ordonez from GuitarPusher.com was super accommodating and he made sure that I had all of these three guitars in the $2,000 price range to test when I get there. A custom series Singa, a Taylor 314, and of course, the original series Singa that Raymond hand carried from Singapore to Manila. Nothing against the Taylor, but to my ears, the custom series Singa was an entire level above the, the Taylor 314. But what surprised me the most was the fact that the original series was another level higher than the custom series. And everyone at the guitar store felt the same way. Recognizing the lucky chain of events that led to this day, it was a no-brainer decision to choose and come home with the original series Singa. Just so there's a benchmark to compare against, here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the, the Maestro's original Singa and my Seagull S6, both with fresh Veritas strings. Please make sure you listen with your best headphones, hi-fi speakers, or studio monitors so you can hear the difference.
So for only $2,000, the original series Singa has specs that match big brand guitars that sell for $4,000 and beyond. It has a medium jumbo body with Florentine cutaway, sound port, and beveled armrest. Solid Sitka spruce top, solid Indian rosewood back and sides, flame maple binding, reverse script linings, quarter sawn Sitka spruce bracing in modified X configuration, Kaya mahogany neck with carbon fiber rods, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, ebony bridge pins, Indian rosewood and flame maple rosette, Japanese nickel frets, bone nut and saddle, Grover machine heads, 1.75 inch nut width, and to put the icing on the cake, it comes with a complimentary Plex setup. If you're not familiar with what a Plex setup is, here's the quickest way to explain it. A robot operated by a human luthier measures your guitar with laser accuracy and then shaves each individual fret wire with inhuman precision to achieve the lowest string action possible while maintaining maximum tonality. Normally, this service alone costs about $200 to $300 if you paid for it in the US, but it's already part of the package whenever you buy a new Maestro guitar. My original series Singa also came in this amazing complimentary custom-made polycarbonate case. The case is designed specifically for the Singa body, so it's more compact and lighter than your average guitar case like this one. Another thing that makes it great that I haven't seen on other hard cases is that you have the option to attach provided backpack straps to it, making it easier to travel with. For the leather strap, I chose the Legato from Amazon to complement the guitar. For just $29, the softness and quality of this leather strap can go head to head with the ones that sell for $100, so it's such a great bargain. I'll link to it down at the description just in case you're interested. For the electronics that went inside the guitar with the help from Mike Dawes, I'll go over it in detail, but on a separate video. Anyway, I hope that my story encouraged you not to limit yourself to big brands and to keep an open mind and try guitars from the smaller players like the Maestro original series and let your ears decide. Before I forget, if this was helpful to you in any way, I'd really appreciate it if you'd help out this brand new channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Being an all-solid with acoustic guitar, one of the best things about it is that it sounds the worst on the day you bring it home. Thousands of hours of playtime will eventually alter the molecular structure of the solid wood fibers, aging the instrument, and creating a richer, sweeter, and louder tone. I don't know about you, but I don't want to wait thousands of hours of playtime just to get the best sound. And that's why I got this. It's a tone right device that supposedly simulates playtime when you're not using it. G from Tonerite gave me a, a very specific 21-day regimen based on the body type and tone woods of my guitar. So I'm going to follow it religiously as I'd also like to get the best results. So make sure you subscribe so you'll be the first to know when the Tonerite experiment concludes. Thanks for watching!